previously on All of Us. Remember that letter I wrote her? Uh, le- telling her oh, how, was, how sorry letter. I was? Whoa. Yeah, it didn't make a difference because she came home the next day and told me that she's moving out. Why do you care about me and Nisi so much all of a sudden? Because she never got the letter of apology you wrote that night at a big fight. Why would you say that? Because I took it. People don't get divorced over just one argument, man. You and Nisi have been going at it for a while. Yeah, well, thanks to Carmen, I'll never know if the letter would have made a difference. I think you're overthinking this. Your marriage to Nisi was on the rocks, and nothing could have changed that. Damn, this is some good stuff. <laughs> you have it now. Oh, come on, Robert. Uh... We both know what was going on in our marriage. But I thank you for the apology, and I forgive you. Hey, better late than never, right? Listening to you, you don't even have the back of your head. Robert, don't look at me. Oh, hey, what's up, Nisi? Um, Robert, I. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong? I was in the bathroom and I found. What? What, son? What'd you find? I found a hair. <laughs> Listen, I told you to go to the groomer. You are shedding. Boy, please. Not that kind of hair. I found a hair down there. <laughs> Okay, look here, Bobby. Do not panic, all right? We only need a few more items for the examination. (laughs) What are those for? Oh, these? Okay, 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 son. You know what? You stop playing around. The boy said he's serious. <laughs> okay, Bobby, take a seat. It's happening, isn't it, Dad? I'm changing. Yes, you are, son. And I thought it wouldn't happen for another few years, but we're here, man. First teeth and now this. <laughs> now, Bobby. You're going to be growing a lot more hair one day, all right? And not just in that one spot. You know your mother's got a lot of hair on her back. (laughs) You're not little Bobby anymore. You're becoming a... A werewolf! I knew it! No, 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 son. You're not becoming a werewolf. I'm not? No, baby. You're becoming a young man. And you're going to be just fine. You know, I bet it's those hormones they put in all the milk. We're going to switch to organic before he grows a goatee. Listen, Bobby, it's not like that. You're becoming a man. You're becoming a James man. And it's actually pretty cool. Now, who's a James man? I am! And who's not afraid of hair where there's never been hair before? Not me! I'm a James man! That's right! Now go upstairs and put on your fire engine jammies and your little teddy bear slippers like a man! Like a James man! Take me upstairs so the hallway master won't get me. On an eight-year-old? 
You sure it wasn't an eyelash that fell down there? <laughs> and, and attached itself to Bobby's little Bobby? Huh? <laughs> you know, I found my first gray one. <laughs> I thought it was sweater fuzz, but it hurt like hell when I tried to use a lint roller on it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell you, Dirk, giving Nisi that letter felt great, man. It's like I got a weight lifted off my shoulders. Please, you know, you like a dude that walks through a minefield and is surprised when his foot gets blown off. <laughs> When Nisi starts tripping, don't come crying to me. Cause you won't have a leg to stand on, Stumpy. You tripping. Hey, I'm not the one trying to get back with his ex-wife. Look, I am not trying to get back with my ex-wife. I gave her the letter because I thought she should have it. Please, you're just trying to get some credit. You're damn right I'm trying to get some credit. I mean, a lot of our problem was because Nisi thought I never fought hard for our marriage and now she has proof that I did. Never looked at it that way. Cause that's stupid. <laughs> You've gone from being homies and in a good place to telling her the past was a giant mistake, sending her into an endless cycle of pain, misery, and regret. Let me know how that turns out. <laughs> oh, you gotta bounce. That's Vanessa. Whoa, 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 we, we just had a heart to heart and you're kicking me out over a girl? Can you do the splits while doing a handstand? Kind of like your business. Thank you. Why would Robert give me this letter now? Has he lost his mind? Is he living in the past? Is he trying to get back with me? I mean, I don't blame him. It has to be hard living with all this. I mean, but still. Could it be simpler than that, Lisey? Could he just have wanted you to have it? Robert. No. He wants something. He wants a reaction. He wants credit. He wants something. Well, instead of all the guessing, why don't you just ask him? Oh, no, honey. Then he think I care. Do you? Did you hear me just say, oh, no, honey? Okay. You're living in the same house with your ex-husband. You're raising your child together. Your partner's in the restaurant. Does that sound like moving on? I'm not talking about what it sounds like. I'm talking about what it is. <laughs> and then he comes along with this letter right when I'm putting my life back together. Like he didn't know it would turn everything upside down. We were homies. And I'm not trying to be more than that. Mm -hmm. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and I know you're going to say that if it didn't mean anything to me, then I wouldn't have called you. But I didn't call you to talk about this. Remember? I called you to talk about Bobby. You want to talk about Bobby? No. <laughs> you really can do it. I owe you a dollar. Wait, double enough and you can't put both back there. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit more than that. Well, then I'm going to the ATM. Open up, I hear you in there. Oh, no. Hi, Daddy. Courtney, what are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be staying with your aunt. I changed my mind. She got the note. <laughs> Should've called me and give me a heads up. I'm trying not to be a burden. Put your bags in your room. Hi, I'm Courtney, Dirk's daughter. Vanessa. <laughs> A daughter? You never mentioned that. Oh, I forgot. How could you forget you have a daughter? Because all I was thinking about was you, baby. You know what, Dirk? I'm gonna go. No, wait, she can stay in her room. She's not gonna hear nothing. Yes, I can. <laughs> you can just shut her door. Goodbye, Dirk. No, wait, baby. Look, I'm gonna put this pillow on her head. Look at these two big ass pillows. I put them in her, both in her head. Hi. Hi. I need you to take me to the mall. I forgot to pack something. What, a hotel room? No. Bras. Hey, I didn't know you was home. Hey, I didn't know you was home too. Hey, what's up? Everything yeah. good? Hey. What? No, I thought you said something. No, 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 I didn't say something. Oh, uh, all right. 
<laughs> Why did you give me the letter? I thought you should have it. But what did you want? I wanted you to have it, and now you do. Robert, you're not hearing me. What did you want? I mean, did you want me to throw myself at your feet and say, I'm sorry, Robert, that, that, that you're a really great guy and that the whole divorce was my stupid mistake? Well, not at my feet, but something like that. <laughs> you are unbelievable. You know what, DC? You are hilarious. You know why? Because you're mad because you walked out on the wrong dude. Oh, please, dude. We had a lot more problems than what your little letter could fix. It ain't like you were a 10. You're right, Nisi. Mm -hmm. I'm not a 10. I'm a big face hundred. In Monopoly money. <laughs> when you're playing the game you of life, you need to open up your mouth and talk to somebody. Hey, I'm, I'm having an emergency. You you I'm having that. an emergency. <laughs> Courtney's in the car. I need you to take her bra shopping. We in the middle of something, girl. I now, don't care. I'm having, having a crisis. Like, I gotta say. So are we. Now, you're her father, and I know you bought a bra. You don't car. understand, OK? This is going to completely ruin bra shopping forever. It's like when I was six, and I accidentally saw my Aunt Lucinda stepping out of the tub. God clearly does not want me to enjoy breasts. Hey, look, Dirk, I feel you, but we're in the middle no, of something, you bro. don't understand either. See, you got a boy. You lucky. Boys are so much easier. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. OK. <laughs> to show how cool it was to turn into a James man. <laughs> it's cool, son, but like we told you, you're growing up now, and as you grow up, your private parts become... A little more private. Right. Is that why Grandma wears such big underwear? <laughs> you know he's talking about your mama. <laughs> hey, look, Bobby, we know you're excited. I mean, when I got my first hair, I was excited. <laughs> did you name yours, too? No, did you? Yeah. George, after the first president. <laughs> hey, look, when I got mine, boy, I used to shampoo it, put a little Murray's on it, and I couldn't wait to get two more so I can corn roll it. <laughs> so, Nisi, you want to tell us about yours? No, and I don't know why we're talking about yours. <laughs> Bobby, what's important here is that you keep your pants closed. What's down there is for you and only you. So when George start having friends, don't go introducing them to anybody either. Yes, ma'am. Can I go in the kitchen and think about what I did? You sure can. Hey, and while you in there, you can grab a sponge and bust those suds. And get used to it, because that's your job for the next month. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Can you imagine the looks we're going to get at the next PTA meeting? <laughs> Shoot, we might get a couple of high fives. <laughs> so, you know, we never really got a chance to finish what we were talking about before the school call. Are we cool? I, hey, why wouldn't we be? What happened, happened. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. No, yeah, 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 we, we cool. Okay. Daddy, what one do you like better? The black or the blue? I, d I, d I don't know. Ooh, red really makes a statement. Should I get the one that opens in the front or the back? I don't know. What about strapless? Those are really cute times. Help! Can I get some help, please? Yes, sir. How can I assist you? Uh, my daughter needs a bra. I need a shot of tequila and a tall building with an open window. I'll take her back to the dressing room. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Dad, can you help me find some underwear to match? I like thongs. <laughs> I am just so mad at him right now. I mean, if I wrote someone a letter and they didn't respond, I would ask them, did you read my letter? And I would say, what letter? And they would say, the letter I wrote. And I would say, no, nah, I didn't get your letter. Why couldn't he just do that? You think things would have turned out different? Man, I, 
I don't know. I'm, maybe I wouldn't have packed up and left. <laughs> maybe I would have just slept in the other room for a couple of nights. There's a lot of maybes. And that's the other thing. We were talking about maybe having another baby. A baby. Yeah. And you know what else is so cold? The man I thought I divorced is not the man I divorced. Which means the man I've been living with is not the man I thought I've been living with. So you're feeling as if you've been deceived? Well, aren't you feeling that? <laughs> I mean, how are we supposed to get back to the way it was before? Before the divorce? No, hell no, before the letter, when I thought he was an ass. <laughs> I mean, but I have come to terms with that. I mean, but this whole time, he been thinking I'm the ass. Because how could someone who loved him as much as I loved him read that letter and then leave? It's never going to be the same, is it? It's going to be what you make it, Nisi. <laughs> Hey, son. Need some help with that? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. What did you eat today? A lot of beef. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah? Why do we have hair down there? Uh, well, son, it's, um... It's like the bling bling on your thing thing. <laughs> Remember the other day when we were watching Animal Channel and the cat had the whiskers? Oh, to protect itself and to also let it know when it's getting into a tight place. Um, no, not like whiskers. <laughs> um, so is it to keep us warm? Yes. I like that, yes. It's for warmth. You must be really warm, Dad, because you Son, got... <laughs> you really need to start knocking before you come into the bathroom, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> Listen, Bob. Your body is gonna go through a lot of changes, all right? You're gonna get taller and you're probably gonna get pimples. And your voice is gonna get deeper. Like this? Little deeper. Like this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so then will I be a man? No, son, see? All of those things don't make you a man. Being a man is not how you look, it's how you do. Okay. <laughs> Can you give me a lift? Sure. Oh, hey. Yeah, and, and, and don't let me tell you about flashing little girls again. Now go to bed. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be upstairs to tuck you in in a minute, all right? All right. I love you, son. I love you, too, Dad. Aww. Oh, hey, I didn't even hear you come in. Listen, consider that situation with Bobby handled. Hello? Robert, this letter. Oh, not again. <laughs> yes, again. I mean, did you think that you could just give me this letter and everything would go back to being the same? No, I didn't expect everything to go back to being the same. I wanted you to look at me differently. Well, I do. Okay. And that's why I'm moving out. Okay. And that's what you feel like you have to do. Yes, it is. Ah! Oh, wait, wait, what's wrong, baby? I was fixing George. <laughs> and he fell out. The good news is he's somewhere in your brush. <laughs> Oh, good. I 
I got a postcard for mom. She's really loving Tuscany. Yeah, I'm sure she is. When's she leaving? Monday. Thank God. Then she goes to India till February. <laughs> Next time you're out, can you pick me up some feminine products? <laughs> you better be talking about an easy bake oven. <laughs> Why do I need to practice fixing lunches? Can't Courtney just buy her lunch? <laughs> You're her father, Dirk. It's your responsibility to make sure that she gets a healthy meal at school. Hey, for the money I'm paying at Crest Haven, they need to have a personal chef. <laughs> for the money we're paying at Crest Haven, the school bus should be a big yellow Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum. Thanks, Dad. Uh. Ah. Ah. Uh. Yeah. You call this a sandwich? Can I just buy my lunch? That's what I said. I mean, eat your sandwich, young lady. Oh, Courtney, I also got you an application to the Nintendo Club. Come on. Mm-hmm. My son got pulled. Ah! Hello? Whoa, 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 slow down, Nisi. What? Yeah, yeah, we can come see. Look, calm down, we are coming, all right? What was that all about? Nisi just put a deposit down on a condo. Finally! I mean, how do you feel about that? I don't know, I mean, when she first told me that she was moving, I was like, huh? Then I was like, huh? Then I was like, huh? So you feel... happy. I. I think I feel happy. Dirk is going down, man. She's finally moving out, and I get my place back to myself. When I say DC, there is no DC, no, no DC. DC. Hey, hey, no DC. Hey, no DC. Second time around, no DC. Hey, no DC. Mommy, what are you doing here? Cheering, like Dirk. What's up, girl? Oh, boy. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I got a new spot. Open bar, paintball. We can do shots and get shot. Let's oh, roll. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about your daughter? I should tell her I'm leaving. How did you get into my house? Oh, I copied the keys last time. You know what? What? You didn't want me to do that? You know what, Robin? You really should have said something. I'm no mind reader, you know. Carmen, I thought you were working on a cruise ship. Didn't I just say I was no mind reader? So somewhere between San Diego and Long Beach, I lost my stump the psychic gig. Uh. But anyway, I came back here to check on how things are going since I gave you back, you know, the letter. Well, if you must know, Nisi read it about two weeks ago. <laughs> she got really upset and we had a big blow up and now she's moving out. Hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, can I move in? Carmen, every time you come around here, you bring drama with you. No, not this time. I'm a new Carmen. Carmen Light. I can't believe it's not Carmen. <laughs> come on, Robert. Really, I have nowhere else to go. Well, I guess I got room now. Huh? Where's that? What? All right, you can stay. Yes! Right? <laughs> yeah. And I promise I will be no trouble. Oh, by the way, if somebody come around here and looking for Bernadette, you don't know her. I don't know her. Say it just like that. <laughs> and even though it's rough sometimes, it's, it's all over the smell. Here we go. go. This couldn't possibly be it. Hey, my put. <laughs> so, what do you think? Nisi, they say it won't be ready for another six months. Mm-hmm. And I got the penthouse with the chef kitchen. I got two bedrooms. There's a swimming pool. A swimming pool! <laughs> and I got a fitness center. Does it got... have a graveyard? 
Because I'm about to kill you, Nisi. Come on, Robert. No, 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 this is just like last year when you're supposed to be moving out, but you bought that cracked out hole in the wall instead. Which is now one of the most successful restaurants in LA, thank you. And this will be one of the most fabulous places to live, huh? Yeah, well, this looks like something between your toes right now. <laughs> Look, Bobby has karate. We'll finish this conversation later. Come on, Bobby. Look, Dad, the backstroke. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Wait, 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 Robert, you do not have to walk away from me like that because... Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, God. Mm. You're gonna need some medicine for that. <laughs> Robert, what's the big deal if I stay a few more months? Especially now since you made me cripple myself. Oh, since I made you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... What up, Miss? Oh, hell no. <laughs> get your family, Robert. Get your family. What's up, Nisi? I heard you were moving. I thought I'd give you a head start. <laughs> oh, and that is a nice crutch. I'm glad you're finally done using my brother's one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Since you like taking letters so much, I have one for you. Oh, okay. Dear Carmen, mm -hmm. go to hell. <laughs> what is she even doing here? Look, when you told me you got a condo, I told Carmen that she could move in. No, I said I put a deposit on a condo. Look, you see, this is my house, all right? If my sister wants to stay here, my sister can stay here. And the backyard's all yours, Gimpy. <laughs> Heffa, if you don't put my stuff back, I will put this crutch so far down your throat, not know what a fist. Hey, 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 Look, this is how it's going down, all right? Look, one of y'all can stay in the guest bedroom, and the other can use the blow-up mattress in my office, okay? Get the blowing. <laughs> Carmen, you sleeping in the office. I did not see that coming. That's the same thing your mama said the day you was born. <laughs> okay, you got your books, your lunch, your cell phone in case of emergency. Did I forget anything? Yeah, to drop me off out front and drive away. All right, I'll pick you up at five. Four. Three thirty. 3.30 it is. Okay, so meet me here at lunch. We'll get a table by the window and we'll watch the kindergartners fall down the slide. It's pretty funny. Go away, Bobby. Why? Because I'm new and in the eighth grade. How does it look for an eighth grader to have a third grade friend? Uh, super cool? Look, it's gonna be hard enough for me to make friends without some little kid hanging around me. See if I share my ding-dongs with you at lunch. <laughs> oh, yeah! You don't know what the lunchroom is! Enjoy eating nowhere with no one, lady! <laughs> Is that for my brother? <laughs> it's a lot of salt on that. You know he got high blood pressure, right? You know, if you want to take care of your brother so much, you cook for him. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You already started. Do your thing. <laughs> I like a scooch of cayenne pepper on mine. <laughs> There's the meat. Get the scoonching. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that, huh? I just thought that you were cooking, you were cooking for everybody, but I guess that's because, unlike you, I was raised a lady. <laughs> you know, I can raise my good foot and foot. No, no, no. Unlike you, I'll remain classy. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Say it. Say it, tripod. <laughs> what gave you the right to think you could steal my letter? Because you were treating my brother like dirt and you still do? Robert wrote that letter to me to try to save our marriage. But when you took it, you turned our last chance into no chance. And out of all the low things you've done over the past years, that I'll never forgive. I could live with that. <laughs> See, because here's the thing. If you really love my brother, you would have never left him, broke his heart, and took his son. Let her be damned.
I hate you. I hate you more. I really hate you. You oh, know why? Please. Because you always pull this. You always the time. trying to pull. You are the younger brother. Like you never had nothing. Oh, I told you not to follow me around campus. You don't know the school. I could go wherever I want to go. Get away from me. This is my house. You get away. Hey, 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 hey. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Dirt. You do realize you're the adult here, right? Why aren't you parenting the situation? Now, somebody calmly tell me what's going on. Wait, what do you mean by parent the situation? I was parenting the situation. I am a parent. Bobby, what happened? Why does he get to go first? Yeah, why does he get to go first? Because I said so. Bobby, spill it. Courtney acted like she didn't even know me in front of the older kids. Little liar. Bigger liar! Hey, 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 you know what? This is crazy. Dirk, why don't you take Courtney home so they can calm down? Come on, man, stop telling me how to be a parent. Courtney, let's go home so you can calm down. Snitch. Thanks a lot, Dad. Now Courtney hates me even more. Did he just have a little white kid moment? <laughs> My brother is getting his life back together, and you keep screwing it up. Oh, girl, please, if anybody's screwing up anything, it's you. Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Oh, I'm sticking my nose in it now. What you gonna do? Oh, well, let me show you why. Hey, 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 look, look, look. Nobody's doing nothing. Not in my house, all right? You're right, Robert. Let's take this outside. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What are you, 13 years old? I'm gonna kick your ass at 3 o'clock. <laughs> you two are grown women. I'm sure you can settle your differences in another way. I'm gonna set the table. You lucky he came up in here. You lucky he came up in here. And that I found Jesus. <laughs> Let me finish making dinner. Oh, no, no, no. I'm making my brother's dinner. He doesn't want this nasty, over-salted ribeye anyway. It's a wonder you got any customers at all. Uh-huh. Where'd you hear that from, huh? Your pimp? Oh, that's real funny. Get hey, 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 that's pimp. my steak. Hey, put my steak down now. <laughs> Nisi, Carmen? No! No! You! You don't try to blame this on me. Shh. Mm -mm. This is all your fault. How is steak in my face my fault? The letter! Robert, we've been through hell for the past few weeks because she stole that letter. And you let her move in here and just take over? You need to stand up and man up. Wow. Man up. Dad, she talk about your manhood, son. That's right. Now only one of us gets to stay. It's either me or that. It's like that. All right. Well, I choose Carmen. <laughs> Good, man. Yo, what's up? I know you're not really mad at me. Like hell, I'm not. All right, I'm not. <laughs> but you didn't have to call me out like that in front of Courtney. I don't need her to know I'm a bad father. Dirk, you're not a bad father. Sure I am. Everybody knows it. I just don't need her to know it. Okay, look, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you, okay? But we can't have our kids fighting like that, man. You're right. This parenting thing? It's tough, though. Shoot, man. Nobody knows how to do this stuff at first. I mean, just think about it. Three months ago, you didn't even know you had a daughter. Now look at you. You already took a bra shopping, you got into a good school, and you almost picked her up on time. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna get that. <laughs> See? You're a good dad. Thanks, man. Learn from the best. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. Last night, Nisi and Carmen kept getting into it. Had to kick Nisi out. You kicked out your broke foot baby moms? Wow. Exactly. Now I'm gonna have to tell Bobby, and I know it's gonna break his heart. You need a hug, don't you? <laughs> oh, 
Hey, Con. What's up? We have to talk. Uh-uh, Robert. That dent on your right rear bumper was there before you even handed over your keys. <laughs> what dent? Never mind. Um, what were you saying? Look, Carmen, you know I love you, right? And if I could have you stay with me forever, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> but I'd let you stay for a while. But when I chose you last night, I might have made a mistake. I, I wasn't thinking about Bobby or Nisi. You know Nisi what? Or... You know what, Robert? <sighs> I'm only sorry that you had a chance to say it before I did. <sighs> <laughs> what? Robert, a boy belongs with his mother. And if I have to go, then I just have to go. <laughs> wow, that's, that's very mature of you. Yeah, well, you know, Nisi's not the only one who's found Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, thank you for making this easy for me, Carmen. You got it, boy. <laughs> Come on, you got it. No, I got that. No, a one-way ticket to Maui? Okay, look here. Friend of mine calls. She wants me to house sit a place in Maui for like six months. Well, when are you going to tell me this? There are phones on the plane, Robert. I checked. <laughs> Carmen, I cannot believe that you had me come in here feeling guilty about kicking you out and you were planning to leave all along. Robert, we could do this one or two ways. Either I could be mad at you for choosing Nisi over me again, or we could just call it even Steven. So crazy, Carmen. I love you too, big brother. <laughs> oh, and just for the record, I'm not mad at you for changing your mind. Because now, at least I know you're capable of choosing me. Even if it was only for 12 hours. <laughs> well, well, maybe next time we could work on making it a whole day. Cool. <laughs> Boy, you a trip. You're such a trip. You, you just be tripping. <laughs> You need money, don't you? Oh, always. <laughs>
Dinner's a seven. What's for dinner? Fish sticks. I hate fish sticks. I hate them too, but Bobby loves them. Fish sticks at seven. Fine. 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 Whenever. Whatever. Whatever. Whenever. <laughs> You can find a way to be friends with Bobby at school. One hand nod per day. At recess. What up every day at lunch? <laughs> Two what ups a week at recess. And head nods at lunch on pizza days. Deal. All right, now shake hands. Come here. Aww. You need a hug, don't you? <clears throat> I'm straight. I knew I smelt your snickerdoodles. <laughs> Ouch! Those are for career day for Bobby's school. All right, fine. Then I'll eat a muffin. Uh Ow! <laughs> What's wrong with you, woman? Those are for Bobby's teachers. All right. Good. You don't have an apple. <laughs> Who are those for? Nobody. I just like hitting you. You know what, DC? This career day thing is stressing you out. Got weave all over the floor shedding. <laughs> you need to relax, all right? No, I'm real relaxed. I just like being prepared, unlike you. Hey, I'm prepared, okay? I'm TV talk show host Robert James. All I need is a VS. <laughs> all you need is a water pick. You got all up in here. Mind your business. <laughs> Yo, that sounds pretty close. Hey, your family in town? <laughs> Yo, for real. Nisha, you return those videos? It's probably old lady Fowler. Prescription marijuana my ass. I do it! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Oh, wait, you ain't do what? You didn't do what, Bobby? Oh, 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 Search the rest of the house. Follow me. Awesome! <laughs> but I didn't do it. And even though it's rough sometimes, it's so rough to smell. So, you called 911 and told them we had hostages here? Boy, I just... Mommy, I... you're pretty. <laughs> say it. Bobby, how do I say this? Why? I don't know. I thought it would be fun. 911 is not something you play with. It's for emergencies only. You know that. Bobby, while the police were over here having fun, they could have been helping somebody with the real emergency. Okay. No, it is not okay. If you look it up in the dictionary, the last thing you would see is okay. Fine, I don't want to do it again. Who you talking to, little Damien? <laughs> you don't talk to your mother like that. But I need... Shut it down. I was trying Bobby, to... do you understand English? You spoke English to the 911 people, so I know you understand it. But I need to you tell you know what? that... You know what? I don't even want to look at you right now. Just go to your room. I ain't looking at you either. <laughs> Can
can't believe this. I don't know what goes on in that boy's head sometimes. You know what? This right here is above and beyond taking away his Game Boy and dessert. He must think he lives with Bobby and Whitney. <laughs> Man, my head is in such a bad place right now. I'm just gonna need to sleep on it. Well, you're gonna be sleeping outside because the SWAT team threw your mattress on the lawn. And the next thing I know, the SWAT team kicks the door in and helicopters are circling. Now my neighbors think I'm running a crack house. They always thought it. Now they know it. I just gotta figure out what to do with a little crank yanker. Cause the ordinary punishment is not gonna cut it this time. My dad was the king of cruel and unusual punishment. One time he made me scrub every floor in the house with a toothbrush, then use it. You think I ever wore a pair of his socks again? You know, Bobby needs to respect the police. I mean, now he's a cute little kid, but in a few years, at a couple of more inches, he's gonna be fitting the description of a suspect in the area. Me and my cousin got in trouble for prank calling the police when we were little. His pops gave him a nice long lecture on the importance of the emergency response system. My pops hauled my ass down to the station and made me apologize to every cop in the building. And you never dialed 911 again? Not even when the garage caught fire. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna take Bobby down to the police station. I will be the first person in my family that actually chooses to go to the police. Hey, you just start playing with yourself? Remind me to tell you how my father handled that. Yeah, um, Dirk, you know there's quality therapists out there if you really need somebody to talk to. Right? My dad was a therapist. <laughs> All right, uh, Hello, Dad. It's Dirk. Why'd you make me use that toothbrush? Why couldn't you just take away one of my toys? No, I don't sound like a bitch. Bobby, I hate to do this, but I gotta teach you a lesson. Can I help you? Oh, excuse me. Bobby, go sit down. Um, I'm looking for a little less and a little more. Yeah, sip of it. Thank you. So, what you in for? I stole a car. A toy car? A squad car. I'm not worried. It was the first offense. What about you, little dog? I prank called 911. Oh, man. You're going down. So, I was hoping we could work together and scam straight. No problem. We do this all the time. Who's going to be the good cop? Excuse me? You know the routine, good cop, bad cop? Sir, we're all good cops. <laughs> do you have any idea why you're here? I prank called the police. But I'm really, really sorry. That's what they all say. <laughs> So you admit committing the 216. Hey, 216. Nice job, Kojak. Hey, listen, maybe we should check the computer just in case the suspect has priors. Good thinking. You never know who's standing in front of you. Come on, son. Get over there. <laughs> Name? Robert Humphrey James Jr. Am I going in jail? Hey! We ask the questions here. Me and the walrus. And what's your address, Robert Humphrey James Jr.? I can't tell you. You're a stranger. You know what? You're absolutely right. Hey, spill it, convict. 425 Fairview Lane. Huh. That's weird. There's a warrant in the computer for a Robert James Sr. at that address. Nice touch. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm Robert Jr. He's Robert Sr. 
You know what? There must be a mistake here. It's... Yeah, they're all mistakes. <laughs> no, officer, I'm sure there's somebody here that can clear this up. Your lawyer, you're under arrest. Wait a minute, man, I'm on TV. If it's not MASH, I don't know you. Now put your hands behind your Wait, 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 wait a minute, I didn't do anything. Mr. James, I'm gonna need you to calm down. You're asking me to calm down, and you're trying no, to arrest me? We can make this hey, easier, hey, we can make this hard. Listen, hey, officer, oh. stay right where you are. Now should I call 911? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, 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 Every, everything's fine, everything is fine. Hey, look, I'm walking down the steps. <laughs> yeah, now, I'm going down the elevator. Ding! <laughs> everything's cool, Zach. Can we go home now? Uh, not unless you have $1,500 cash. But I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, look, son, put your hand here, okay? I need you to be gangster for me, all right? Just clench your butt cheeks and hold it. I can take it. Now hurry back, because uh, we're going to be getting out of here as soon as they give me my laces back. <laughs> Dirt! You might not want to hear this, but I always knew you'd go to prison first. It's not funny, Dirt. Oh, man. Did you become somebody's bitch? <laughs> no. I mean, because if it happened, we still boys. We'll see how this right. What's going on? Dog, they said I had a failure to appear on a traffic violation, and I tried to tell them I didn't even get a ticket. That's right. Keep denying it. Get yourself a fancy lawyer and let the jury figure it out. This is what I get for listening to you. Hey, nobody told you to come down here with a rap sheet, Bobby Brown. <laughs> this was your great idea. Bringing him to the police station without telling me? I should commit a crime just so I can come in and shank you. Look, Lisa, everything was going fine until this police David officer... David Jailbird. I'm taking Bobby home. Dirk, you gonna bail me out or what, man? Oh, I bailed you out as soon as I got here. I'm just waiting for Kennedy to show up with my camera. <laughs> What's up, Misha? Gotta hand it to you, Robert. Great field trip. Mm -hmm. Where you taking them next? Guns or us? Not now, Nisi. How do you think I felt getting arrested in front of my son? Especially for something I didn't even do. Yeah, well, look at the bright side. At least you have a new picture for your wallet. I'm not in the mood to joke about this, Nisi. Oh, well, when can I joke? In 10 to 20? Nisi. No, 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 don't Nisi me. This is all you. I don't know what the hell you was thinking. I was teaching my son a lesson, which he would have learned if that cop would have let me explain myself. Oh, please, Robert, you broke the law. Nisi, listen, do you understand what I'm saying? I did not do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nisi, why is it so unbelievable to you that a black man could be falsely arrested? Well, because there was a warrant in their computer. Huh? Uh, was the computer racist, too? <laughs> There's nothing funny about tonight. This is ridiculous. Try to teach my son a lesson about respecting police officers and I get arrested for it? Lower your voice. Bobby doesn't need to hear this. Well, he's gonna have to hear about it someday. Well, someday doesn't have to be today. Well, I'm just... Not today, Nisi. I want a cookie. <laughs> or that a crime, too. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that... Oh, snap! Oh, snap! <laughs> But they still hot. <laughs> uh, about $250,000. Sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? No, just the dentist and the airline pilot and proctologist. Point him out to me. I'm definitely not shaking his hand. <laughs> and so, in the unlikely event that both of your parents should die in a crash, an actuary determines the monetary value of their lives. Thank you, Mr. Kilgore. Oh. Some fascinating stuff. And now, class, we have a special treat. Let me introduce my husband, Mr. Diggs, otherwise known as Officer Dave. Okay. 
got, he got a little bladder. Congratulations. He's no longer just the black kid in third grade. No, now he's the black kid in third grade who runs from the police. It's not gonna be like that forever, Nisi. He'll calm down. Hey, Courtney, tell me what happened. Where's the fugitive? He's still running? He's at school. Come on, Dad, run! Let's go! Hoo -hoo! I gotta know, did you run, man? It's not the time, Derek. Not the time, the hell with that. I got jokes, okay? I already didn't even run cool. It was like, Daddy! Daddy! All right, I'm done. But running was smart. You know you can't trust the cops. You watch The Wire. Dirk, that's exactly not what I want my kid to grow up and think. I don't want him to be lost and not find a policeman. I don't want him to be in trouble and not call 911. I want him to respect authority, not fear it. Nisi, that's woman talk. You act like I don't know about black people and the police. I'm black, my family's black, but it's not about them. It's about Bobby, and he's only eight. It's not a black thing or a white thing. It's a cop thing. I don't have time for this. Let me go pick up my baby. You know what? I'll go get him. Why are you even here? I had jokes. What are we doing here, Dad? Look, son, we're here because I think you got the wrong impression about police officers, okay? For the most part, the police are our friends. Okay, Dad, I got it. Can we go now? No, but it's gonna be okay. I'm not resisting arrest. I'm not resisting. Ow, ow. <laughs> Bobby, listen, this is important, okay? I don't want you to be afraid of all cops just because I had a problem with one. If someone ever scares you or you ever get lost, I want you to find the nearest policeman, okay? But what if they arrest me? That's not gonna happen. Police officers don't arrest people for no reason. Well, what about you? Um, yeah, um, listen, how about we just go say hi to the officers then, okay? Okay. Oh, Mr. James. Hold on. You just saved the taxpayers a stamp. Let me call you back. That red light you ran had a traffic cam. You were right. It wasn't you. Give me a second, I'll find your file. <laughs> you see that, Bobby? It was just a misunderstanding. And when people are calm, good things happen. Hey, Sergeant Nelson, remember me? Uh, Mr. James, what are you doing back here? Well, I think my son got the wrong idea about police officers yesterday, so I brought him here to clear things. Good for you. Always remember, sport, we're the good guys. I'm also teaching him that the police are here to protect and serve all of us. See? Here it is. I don't think this looks like you at all. Mommy? <laughs> How about that? It's not even you. How about that? It's not even you. <laughs> is that all you have to say to me? Nope, not you. Nice work, Gomez. Come on, Bobby. Let me show you what else we do around the precinct, if that's OK. It's fine. Thank you, officer. Look, I only overreacted because I knew I was right. Are you implying that I was wrong? There was a warrant for your arrest, so I arrested you. I was doing my job. You didn't even give me a chance to talk. Look, buddy, 99% of the people that come through here actually did something. Sorry you happen to be in the 1% that didn't. You see, that is my point. You weren't treating me like a human being. You were treating me like a statistic. And you're treating me like a statistic. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through during my 30 years on the force. You mean 30 years of excessive force? Sir, look, I understand why you're mad. I would be too. This department has made a lot of mistakes over the years. But we're really trying to make things better. Right. We are. But I gotta tell you, it's not easy. Because while there were guys in here who looked at a guy like you and all they saw was the color of his skin, there are people out there who look at me and all they see is the color of my uniform. So you know how I feel? Not exactly. 
I get to take my uniform off. No. I guess I might have been looking for something that wasn't there. Yeah, maybe I could have handled this differently. For the record, I think you're doing a good thing for your son. It's the only reason why I'm here. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Hey, now let's go home and arrest your mother. <laughs> Here you go, Nisei! <laughs> Again, Robert, I am so sorry. Hey, don't even worry about it. I had no idea I got a ticket. How could you know, Nisa? How could you know? <laughs> so you're not angry? Anger gets us nothing. <laughs> hey, then. <laughs> but with revenge, on the other hand, now that's sweet. Nisi <laughs> James, we have a warrant for your arrest. I'll get that. <laughs> Billion kisses, baby. Anyone else? I'm a lot of man. <laughs> Come on, lot of man. There you go. Ah, thank you, Clarence. My pleasure. Look, um, I know you're busy with the restaurant, but um, if you ever feel like putting a spatula down for a night, I'd love to take you out. Oh, well, thank you, but I kind of got my eye on someone else. Uh, shh. Anybody could wear a suit. But it takes a man mm -hmm. to wear some shorts. <laughs> look here. If your eye ever decides to look somewhere else. Okay. I ain't. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Listen, why is my picture on the cover of this program? Oh, because some people think you're a local celebrity and you might actually bring in some money. Look, Lisa, if you need a donation, I will give you one, but I am not gonna auction myself off to some stranger. But you already said yes. Now, if you think you're gonna back out of this, you must be high. Hi. <laughs> Dr. Bennett, yes. You know, thank you again for doing this. Anything for charity. Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Bennett. <laughs> Need some wet wipes? All right, where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? Where them uh, dollars uh, at? <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm trying to make some money. Please, I'm about to bring in enough paper to kill Alzheimer's, jungle fever, and gingivitis. <laughs> hey, look, Dirk, good luck with that. I'm about. Uh, okay, 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 Rob. Oh, bye, bye-bye. What you up to, Nisi? Huh? Oh, me? Nothing. I'm serious. Yeah, I know. Stop playing, Nisi. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bachelor, Robert James. <laughs> and even though it's rough sometimes, it's so all of us now. Let's get the bidding started. Hey. Oh, hey, boo. Look, Lisa, 
If you want me to do this, you're gonna have to buy me. Oh, no, honey. I've had you for free and you're not that excited. All right, look, I'll write the check. Just buy me. Let's start the bidding at $500. 500? 1,000. Yes, we have one. 2,000. 2,000. Gotta be fast, ladies. Uh, 2,000 and one. 2,001. 3,000. 3,001 cent. 3,001 cent. <laughs> Four thousand dollars. Oh. Do I hear five? Four thousand going once, going twice. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I think the hostess wants to bid. Oh no, I'm good. So you just bought yourself a date with Robert James. Uh. <laughs> oh my God, it's you, it's you, Robert James. You're so great on TV, but that's just for half an hour a day. Now I've got you for the whole night. I want to know everything about you. I'm so looking forward to this day. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the best night of my life. Ah! Hi. <laughs> What the hell was that? What? Four thousand dollars, Robert. <coughs> that was way too much. Our next bachelor <laughs> is Dr. Ralston Bennett. Oh, four thousand. One second. <laughs> the chief of surgery at Westside Hospital and a former swimsuit model. Start the bidding at five hundred. Four thousand. Who's in the court? Don't even think about it. Going once, going twice. <laughs> Next bachelor. So, 4,000 it is. Next, we have TV funny man Dirk Block. Black, man. Black. <laughs> Start the bidding at $200. Do I hear $200? $5. Okay, we have $5. Now, you can't take his bid. He's a kid. He's playing around. Tell him, Bobby. Five dollars going once. Come on, ladies, don't be intimidated. Five dollars going twice. Bobby? Five dollars it is. He doesn't even have five dollars. <laughs> so. <laughs> One weekend, Courtney's out of town. My hot dates with your son. <laughs> Nobody bid on you, man. Hey, Robert, which shoe looks better with my cast? This one or this one? Whichever one will get you out the door. Let me put it another way. Which one don't you want to get hit with? Listen, who cares, all right? These are not even real dates. Real dates don't start with somebody handing over a credit card, all right? This may not be a real date, but it could be. I'm laying the groundwork. Laying the groundwork for what? You see, you don't even know this guy. I know enough. He's educated, successful, athletic. You know what? I don't know why I'm talking to you. Read the program. It's all in there. <laughs> Whatever, Nisi. He ain't as fresh as I am is. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, Nisi, that might be your date picking you up in a helicopter. <laughs> 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 Good evening, Miss James. You look incredible. Thank you. My apology for the noise. My quiet helicopter's in the shop, fellas. <laughs> I thought we were going for Chinese. We are. My favorite spot is in San Francisco. <laughs> Don't wait up. Damn, dude got a helicopter. What you doing with Mary Poppins? I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna catch a movie. You mean to tell me the best Robert James can do is a movie, a stale-ass box of popcorn, and a hot dog at the Magic Johnson Theater? <laughs> you know what? You're right. I, I can't let Nip Tuck show me up. I need to bring the heat. The fire. The f James flame. That's what I'm talking about. My phone in the car, man. I'll be right back. Dirk, you know you just want to see the chopper. Please, like, I care about a chopper. My bodyguard. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? You ready for do this or what? Ready? Oh my god, I thought tonight would never come, but of course it has. <laughs> and I didn't know what to wear because everything in my wardrobe's just so blurred for a date with Robert James. And... 
Look, anybody could take you out on a date. I'm about to take you out on an experience, all right? Give me your wrist. What is it? Okay, this is to get you in the VIP section of Jamie Foxx's listening party. What? Where's yours? <laughs> oh. All right, cool. let's go. Actually, uh, I was thinking we could hang out first, have a spot of tea. Oh, you know what? Check this out. All right? Why don't we have a spot of tea bumping the new Nelly in the heli? All right? <laughs> Twinkles. Yeah, yeah, good call. I love spending my Saturday nights in a place that smells like diapers and cheese. <laughs> Although... Come on, Uncle Derp. Let's go watch some gators and win some prizes. Oh, my eyes are on a prize, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Ouch. 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 We can't let them bite us. Not unless you like that. Well, let's get out of here and play some real games. Derek, you weren't even trying. Huh? Forget it. Bobby, what? You didn't whack one gator. I'm sorry. Here's some quarters. Call someone who cares. Surgeon at Westside Hospital. Mm. Must be fun. Yeah. The only tough part is we keep getting into rumbles with the East Side Hospital. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty cool. Helping people, saving lives. But why talk about me when I have such a beautiful woman sitting right across the table? Oh, well, I'm always gonna look like this, so you might as well keep on talking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to us, Nisi. Mm. I like that. Mm. So, why hasn't anyone snatched you up yet? Well, it sounds a little traditional, but I'm waiting to get married and start a family. I feel like that is the greatest accomplishment a man can have. Oh, I think family is the most important thing. Yes, it is. Yes. I mean, of course, my work keeps me pretty busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But luckily, kids, you know, they don't need a father until they're at least six. <laughs> By then, I'll be retired and I can be around full time. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it is all about being a good dad. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Do you really think a baby doesn't need his daddy until he's six years old? There have been plenty of studies that show that generic parental affection can come from anywhere. The real bonding doesn't occur until the child reaches pre-latency. Wouldn't you want to be there for the birthdays? Hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I should be around for birthdays. That's an easy adjustment. I'm in the middle of a really important dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> nice shoes. I'm a shoe fan, too. They were a gift from my husband. Oh, he has great taste. I'm sure his assistant picked them out. <laughs> She knows I hate it when he's stuck in the office all week. Oh, that must be tough. Say la vie. That's what happens when your husband's an attorney. Or a ball player or architect. Uh, I've been married a few times. <laughs> but I do have a lot of nice shoes. <laughs> 
Sorry about that. I promise. No more interruptions. Now, where were we? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nisi. I promise that is the last interruption. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bobby, don't make me come in there. Fine, I'm coming in there. I guess we know where that diaper smell's coming from now. <laughs> so you paid all that money at the auction to sit in here all night? I thought you wanted to play games. I did, but I wanted to play them with you. That's what we were doing. No, it's not. I was playing games and you were looking at the lady in the Cheeto pants. That's what I do. But this was my night. You weren't supposed to do that. Deuce, for real, what's going on? Ever since Courtney came into town, you don't want to hang out with me anymore. Sure I do. No, you don't. But I understand. You're a dad now. Bobby, listen. I may have just become a dad. But I've always been your godfather, and your godfather will always have time for you. But what if you get another daughter next week? <laughs> I won't. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> but even if I did, you don't ever have to spend five dollars to hang out with me. You just say, Uncle Dirk, I need some Dirky Dirk time. Say it. Uncle Dirk, I need some Dirky Dirk time. You got it. Now, the word around the bayou is there's some gators over there that need some whacking. What do you say to that? I say it's time to turn those gators into shoes. That's right, let's go. <laughs> Since when do you up? I don't. Let's go. <laughs> what did I tell you? Was that Jamie Foxx party hot or what? Yeah, um... Crowded. <laughs> nah, it was packed up in that joint. <laughs> that was lovely. You're welcome. And you know what? There's more, okay? What kind of music do you like? Well, classical's nice. Biz. I'm right here, baby. Hit me with something. Uh, uh, that's classic. <laughs> you having fun now? What? Are you having fun now? Oh. No, no. Yo, what's with you? I mean, nights like this are hard to come by. This night wasn't about me. It was about you and your ego showing off. The whole reason I wanted this date was to get to know you. And you would know that if you'd taken the time to listen to me. I listened. No, you didn't. I said I wanted tea, and you took me to some party. I told you my wristband was too tight, and now I can hardly feel my fingers. <laughs> you haven't listened to a thing I said all night. Sometimes a woman just wants to be heard. Good night, Robert. I'm still getting paid, right? Oh, yo, 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 Biz. You like Dom P? No, I like cash. <laughs> yeah, well, keep on spinning, because I got you for another hour. All right. <laughs> It's not oh. that funny, man. <laughs> oh, hell yes it is. She paid $4,000 to go out with you. You paid six trying to impress her. Don't tell me that's not funny. <laughs> Yo, I didn't hear the helicopter. What happened, it caught a flat? <laughs> oh, I know you not laughing, Mr. Five Dollar Man. <laughs> ah. Whoa, 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 wait, Nisi, Nisi, aren't you gonna tell us how your date went? No, I'm good, because y'all not gonna listen anyway. No, seriously. Come on. Well, it was complicated. He just seemed to be maybe... It... <laughs> Look, Nisi, forget about him. I'm listening, all right? Go ahead. Robert, if you start snoring, I'm gonna sock you. <laughs> I know. Well, what I was saying was, 
I was, I don't know what I was saying. You were saying that he's complicated, but he... Yeah, right, 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 right. He just seemed to be, I don't know. This wasn't what I expected. You know, why do I keep getting this wrong? I pick him, right? Ugh. That's easy. You've been dating the same guy since college. Go back to sleep, Dirk. <laughs> the editor of the newspaper, the captain of the basketball team. Now it's just the doctor, the lawyer, TV guy. Hey, don't be bringing me in this. You in this, man. You keep going from Robert to Robert to Robert. That's deep, son. <laughs> Nightmares about alligators. Can someone come up and read to me? I'll be up in a minute, son. No offense, Dad, but I kind of need some dirty dirt time. <laughs> My man, you got it. I'm going to bed. Hey, look, Nisi, um, I'm not saying that Dirk had a point, but if he did, and I'm not saying that he did, but let's just say he did. Spill it out, Robert. My foot is hurting. <sighs> okay, Nisi. You keep drafting guys like me. We're ball hogs. Okay, maybe you should start to draft other kind of players, like team players. Guys that will be happy playing for Team Nisi. Because as hard as this is for me to admit to you, you can't win a championship with a guy like me. But hey, we made it deep in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we got swept. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, Robert. Huh? I'm gonna choke you. Can you hear me now? Huh? <laughs> Bobby is so soft, he keeps having nightmares about alligators. Told him it was just a game. Nisi, 